My name is Van der Puchert, and this is Finding Frequency. A small but special moment with my wife. That is the extraordinary for today. My wife has been working on preparing for a project, and when she does that, she pulls a Marta. Now, pulling a Marta means that you, you're over-preparing for things. Anybody can pull a Marta. Now, in my case, I usually try to prepare and really focus on what is really needed to get myself the, over the line. You know, what, what is the key things? And the, there's benefits to that because you have to really understand what your client or your, your boss needs and you try and hit that bullseye. Then there's also the approach, and from time to time I would do that too, where you really look at the holistic idea and then what people like to refer to as over-deliver. Deliver more than this person expects. Now, I think there's a golden middle way that you can really hone into what someone needs and then over-deliver on that need. I think that's the most important way to do projects. But when it comes to my lovely wife, she likes to pull a Marta and really over-deliver on everything. And sometimes that leads to a little bit of stress and uh, things can get tough here at home, man, because my wife fears stressing. But usually, like today, it plays out in an awesome meeting, good mood, smiles around, because she's done something great. We celebrate it, though, because... Um, I reached out to find out how the meeting went. She said it went well. I said, why don't, why don't we just meet up at our corner cafe and just enjoy our ice cream together? So I jumped on my longboard. She took a stroll because she works at her parents' house down the road because we're kind of splitting offices at the moment just to make sure that our little son has uh, space to play. And uh, we met each other in the middle and enjoyed our ice cream standing under a tree in the shade, just discussing the day's victory. So that was really special, and I'm hoping that we can do that more. We don't always make time to like just have a bit of a moment together, and sharing that ice cream actually meant a lot. Then the other thing I wanted to just mention and reflect on is, is this strange situation that I find myself in working with a specific client that I'm working with because they're a, a global client, and I get to work with people from all across the globe, from the Ukraine through to Scotland, United States, New York, down the coast, both sides of the States. It's, it's sometimes I, I completely lose track of where some of these people are. And then yesterday specifically, something strange happened that made me realize about how we are all experiencing different kinds of things at different times. Because as I am sitting here, after a holiday, trying to get my head around what I need to do, struggling with my own little things. I have one colleague who was in Beirut yesterday. And um, in fact, with the massive explosion, I don't know if you know about it, but basically um, the harbor got blown away by a massive, in like I can't fathom how big that explosion is seeing the video. Um, and the damage it caused, uh, but I don't know where he was or how close he was, but he was slightly injured. Um, nothing serious. Um, some damage to where he was living. Um, him, he and his family is out of Beirut now in the countryside. They're okay. But just to think that I actually know someone connected to that. And then also my dear friends and colleagues in the United States um, on the coast there, just surviving the remnants of what was a hurricane. So I th my colleagues got hit by uh, storm winds and stuff as this hurricane started fizzling out. Luckily, they weren't in the ep epicenter. But for many of them, because we were in a meeting, for many of them, uh, they didn't have electricity to be in a meeting today. So um, my one colleague is actually working from a hotel room at the moment because they don't have electricity at home. So she had to do that to, to deal with her workload. But kind of like, hey, this happens every so often. We just need to deal with it. And for me, that's completely something strange and new. And it's just, we all have to deal with these strange things. 
And in a way, I'm grateful to be able to connect with people and really understand their experiences and get to see the world through their eyes a little bit. Now I wonder, have you considered what your little moment was today? The world is indeed a wonderful place if you look at it in that way.